Put the bastard here, Sunday morning, sweating out those beers from Saturday. It's sometimes you think, what do you do to yourself? But uh, at the time, you're having fun with your friends and that socially is good for you. I don't know how good the alcohol is. You probably don't need to drink so much. You think at some stage of my life, I will grow up and have a better plan for my life. So that's what this is about, a plan for your life, for you to, for you to have your ultimate life, your limitless life, your unlimited life, whatever you'd like to call it, your best life. Think of when you want to set a plan, have three plans. First plan is you're doing what you're doing now, whatever you do is it for your job and your career and you're doing that. But you then but think of your life all the way through to the to the end to the rocking chair, you're sitting back looking over your life. Think about all the things you will do in that time. Actually write it down. You, know, you, you get four weeks holiday like the year, you want to travel where you want to travel to, what you like to see your kids do, your, your, your things you like to do, meaningful in your life, your purpose in your life. And then see how that looks. Secondly, what happens if your job got, re got replaced by AI and you cannot do that anymore, that job's now gone, that career's gone. Or, you know, for some, whatever reason, you just can't do that job anymore, that career anymore. How would your life look? What would be your side hustle? What would you take over as your life? And if that, whatever that is, write that down from now to the end of the, <clears throat> to the end of life where you're looking back in the rocking chair with no regret for the things you haven't done in your life. But write those things down. What would it look like? What are you doing? You, know, you might be an electrician like I used to be, and now I'm a coach, and I love doing that. So that's, that's what I looked at, and here I am. You know? So what, what, what is it for you, though? And then thirdly, the third plan is, what if you had just enough money to so you down for work again for the rest of your life? From right this point on, you weren't filthy rich, but you could do whatever you wanted whenever you wanted to do it, to do it and travel and, and, just, and just live your life to the fullest, to what you think you want to really do for fun, health, wealth, and happiness. What would that be look like? Again, from now until you sit in your rocking chair, what would you do? Now, that, now I don't mean, again, just been, just been well off enough to say you don't have to work, not being filthy rich where you're flying around Lee jets and living the 1% you know, of the world can actually do. Everyone can do it if they really want to put the effort into it, but most people won't because there's too much work involved to get there. So, but write down those three different plans. And then from those three, I think you have a real good look back at them and you'll be able to come up with the plan of what you truly want in your life. And it might be staying in your career and job, even though around 78% of people don't like what they do, they just do it because they're stuck in a, you know, in a rut and it's their, it's their life. But that may not be you, you might love what you do. So that might, but this, this three plan may help you bring out how you get the most out of that. You, where do you advance in your career? Where, where, you know, what does it look like for you? Try the three plan strategy, because I'm telling you, it really will enlighten you to what you really want in your one life and one chance and help you plan the ultimate, unlimited, limitless life for you. Keep loving life, have an awesome day. Thanks for listening.